everyone has a warm place to go or a warm meal to eat when a winter storm hits. That's why volunteers in Macon County are making sure those people have the resources they need this week. WCI3, Scarlett O'Hara has the story. Socks, hats, gloves, things you probably have at home. But the people who come to this day shelter don't have a home, so instead they come here. I'm not too worried, not until the snow starts. <laughs> the volunteers at Oasis Day Center in Decatur are ready to take on this week's weather. If things get really bad, I don't live far from here. The center offers a place for the homeless and near homeless to hang out. People can do laundry, shower, prepare for job interviews, or just have a cup of coffee before heading to another shelter at night. Places like Oasis are a comfortable escape from extreme temperatures. In the summer, we got the air conditioner on, and in the winter, we got the heat on, so. Two minutes away, Greg Fritz-Gerald runs Meals on Wheels. He says the weather may impact his operation. Because all of our volunteers are a little bit older, and so we want to make sure they're safe. He says they prepare for severe weather all the way back in October. Food recipients can sign up to get three frozen meals just in case volunteers can't drive out to them in the future. But this week, Fitzgerald says his group is up for the challenge. We've had some volunteers actually call in and say, you know, if we're delivering, I'm all on board, you know, and they're ready to go. Ready to go here and down the street, people giving their time to make sure everyone in their community is safe, fed, and warm. I'm Scarlett O'Hara, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Macon County's Meals on Wheels will usually make a decision by 6 a.m. if it's too dangerous to make deliveries. If you're interested in volunteering with them or Oasis, we have those details on our website. Just go to WCIA.com.